Hello folks and welcome. Today I present you the instant asset add-on for Blender. This should bring additional functions for the asset browser. What was the problem? We see it here. I have a huge scene and I want to export stuff in a separate blend file and that as an asset. And here I can maybe just use 20% that I would like to keep. And I don't want to keep the whole file. It would be much too big. I mean, here we have gigabytes. So up here we have the add-on. At the end of this video, I will show you how you can install it. And let's just take this container here. We can move a bit around. So let me just switch the library here to my test library. And then I want to export the whole thing now. This is an object. An object is intended for the object asset function. So let's click on that. A browser comes up. Now I'm looking for the folder for my asset browser. So now let's type in container, save and done. So now that will disappear for a moment and I can also explain you why this happened. If I reload this, I now have the container here. So why is the container disappearing for a moment? Blender is a bit strange. So the center of the world is here somewhere and to bring the object exactly in the middle of the blend file, the whole thing has to go to the center and after saving it have to go back again. So that's kind of the trick I used for this. What we also have is make asset and it works a bit differently because it doesn't save an object but several objects. Okay, we now have a kind of collection here, if you like, several objects and we use make asset. Then we go here again to two. What do we say here? Bridge. Okay, so we load and there it is. And if I say now, for example, I have a lot of objects here that I want to outsource. So that's also an issue. If you want to make the file smaller, then you have to outsource the objects. And you usually do that beforehand. But if you want to do this afterwards, we can use the third function. So let's take these containers here. And now I say import as linked asset here and we do everything in one. So I say again, container, container two. And now it needs a moment again. And now it has been created an asset. So it delays everything here and re-imports this as a linked version. So let's click here. Here we see the container and it's only linked. So it's not in this file, but right here in the asset browser. Uh, let's take a quick look. You can right click and say open blend file. And as promised, there is nothing in this asset browser file except for this container. And it's not just anywhere, but right in the middle. And now let's go here and I want to drop the container there. Then we now have this beautiful look here and it only works if, if it's an object and not if it's a collection. Okay, so this works. Simple add-on, nice simple interface. You do everything in one go when you want to have an object as an asset for a huge file. Everything is now created here and imported to the asset browser in your folder. You can use object asset for individual objects, make asset for multiple objects, then it's a collection, or if you want to export the whole thing directly and only want to link back to save memory for the file, this makes it easier for Blender. You just press import as linked asset then the whole thing is packed out in an asset browser file and is then deleted here and re-imported again only as a linked version. And as I said, it's all free. You can download it from Blender Market. I'll give you a link in the video description. To install the whole thing, simply go to Edit, Preferences, Add-ons. Then you look where you have the download and just install it.
So if you like this whole thing and you want to download this, test it, please leave a comment on Blender Market. Give me feedback on this. I think it's a huge thing because exactly this function was missed on the asset browser. All right, guys, take care until next time. Ciao.